Welcome everyone. Today I'll be showing you my photo restoration project I have done and then I'll be demonstrating some uh, tips and tricks that I use to uh, uh, complete my uh, project. Um, as you can see, uh, this is the original image. It's pretty uh, torn up and worn down, most likely water damage from some sort of natural disaster. Uh, the number one rule I keep in mind for photo restoration is to uh, keep the image as original as possible. You don't want to alter the image to where it's unrecognizable to the owner as uh, it most likely has sentimental value to them if they want to restore it. Um, and as you can see, when I play this timeline, it'll uh, transform to the its complete form which I have done uh, to the best of my ability I'm gonna go back and change my workspace to essentials um, the very first thing you want to do when you're doing photo restoration is uh, to create a new layer so you don't alter the original I'm gonna hide I'm gonna hide my original work um, you don't want to alter the original image just in case if you mess up um, and then the first tool I'll be uh, showing you is the spot healing brush tool. Um, the second most important thing you want to do is when you create a new layer is you want to go up here and click sample all layers so that it can recognize the image that you want to edit and not just a blank layer. Um, the spot healing brush tool is very easy to use. It's just like painting a brush. Um, I use this for all the little mistakes like these things, all these little white dots everywhere. Um, what it does is it takes the pixels around that and it tries to match it and uh, smooth it out to hide it. So if I do this, it'll, uh, it looks pretty good, but uh, it, it won't always fix in the case, especially uh, if you have a large brush. So if I do that, um, it kind of fixes it, but it doesn't know what to do for a lot of it. So uh, I wouldn't use this tool entirely um, as it can cause problems. Um, the second tool I use the most is the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is great and it does exactly what it says. Is you, By pressing Alt and clicking somewhere, you can copy that area and move it to another place. So it... That can be used in many different ways. For example, if you want to use an image and copy it, especially since her, if you look closely, it looks like her clothes uh, have a pattern. Uh, this is the only pattern that remains, but it seems though as this whole thing was a pattern at one point. So what you can do is you can clone it and then move it around and then you can just do that over and over again until you get a desirable image. Uh, the last trick I'll be teaching you is to uh, take other images and use it to your advantage. As you can see, uh, this image is close to completion, but is missing some details. Uh, her ear has been damaged to the point where it's basically missing. So what you can do is you can use Google Images and uh, take some photos and uh, use those body parts as a replacement um, by blending them in. Uh, so what I did is I looked up woman looking right side shot, I believe, to find the closest angle possible. And I copied the image using a lasso tool, the magnetic lasso tool. Um, and I carried it over and overlapped it. Uh, as you can see by this layer, Here's the ear. I, I used the eraser tool to blend it in and take all the unnecessary parts. And then I used another layer above that to lower the saturation uh, to match the skin tone as closely as possible. At this time, you have completed your photo restoration uh, project. The only thing you can left to do is for fun, you can uh, make a timeline to, uh, 
to show your progress in a form of an animation. Um, so first you'll want to do is you want to go to Windows Workspace and change it to motion and it'll bring up this timeline. Um, the second thing is you want to hide all of your um, progress you have made onto the image and you want to hit like new layers, you know, a couple, I say like six times just to hide it. And at the sixth layer, you want to uncover all the progress you made to create the, uh, the finalized project. And uh, then you want to go down to here and click this button as everything is highlighted to uh, create a transition. And if you hit play, you'll see that it slowly transitions from the original to the completed work.